Hello everyone, this is Suzanne from Gab Crochet and Chatter. Oh, wasn't the Harvest Moon giveaway wonderful so far? Donna's name went over to be in the semi-finalist. Um, she was my semi-finalist and her name went with, with a group of other names for the grand prize drawing on October 1st. Wow, Donna did contact me and she chose a pattern Oh, she chose a corner-to-corner -corner pattern. It's a Christmas blanket, and it's made up of like 9 or 12 squares. It has like a reindeer, a snowman, a little drummer person. I mean, it's really, really cute. I hope that she shares a square when she gets done with this. That would be exciting. All right, everyone. As you know, I like to start out with a little bit of a devotional on my channel. So today... I have Galatians 5.22 for us. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, that's one of my favorite verses. And when we fill our life with the fruit of the Spirit, our journey with Christ is going to be a joyful, joyful walk. Yes, it is. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that scripture and you take it to heart today. Well, I'm busy. First of all, I'm coming to you tonight very relaxed. You know, it's evening time. We went out for a walk earlier. It was a little bit chilly. <laughs> We're really brave in the fall. We go, yeah, this winter we're going to go out in the snow and we're going to put our boots and our hats on and the first sign of it dropping down really cold, we're like under a blanket. <laughs> you know? How many of you do that? You're like, you're, you're, we're brave now, right? Yeah. All right, anyway, i show you my jammies. Yes, I'm in my jammies. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. But I got some special jammies on. Now, I don't know if you can see. Let me choke this. Oh, there they are. Can you see? There we, uh, there they are. My Mickey Mouse bottoms. How about that? Yes, indeed. There we go. Let me sit back down. Maybe I can bring my foot up. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're so warm and they're so comfortable. Don't you like to just cuddle up and stuff like this when it gets chilly out? And have a nice warm cup of tea. Yes. Mmm. Tonight I'm having blueberry tea. Yum, yum. Okay, what have I been up to? A lot. <laughs> you know, we get different things going and we never think, you know, okay, we never think that we can't start another project. And we do. <laughs> Alright, let's see. First of all, um... I've got to get busy and get these pockets sewed on because tomorrow we are going to my daughter's for her open house. And as you can see, here's one pocket I got pinned on. And there's my fringe. Now, I did put the link to how to do the fringe in the description box below. And this has come worked out fabulous. I'm going to have to get up a little early tomorrow and get these pockets sewed on. But yeah, I think she's going to love it. Now her husband, I bought him four great big Kit Kat bars. And I got, um, so I made up a big box, um, a big bowl of trail mix to take over too. So yum, yum. Okay, so I got that almost done. Maybe another 20 minutes. Whip stitch those pockets on and it's a done deal. All right. Next, remember the spiral blanket? The corner to corner. I did put that link below again. Now the next one I make of these, I'm going to make it in maybe like three or four solid colors. You'll be able to see the design much more, but it's really pretty what I've got so far. And I'll show you that. And I did use a J hook. This is my yarn. This is uh, Red Heart Stripes favorite stripes and I think I'm going into my this one here will be my fourth scheme going into it 
And this is what I've got so far. Let me see if I can back up here. Okay, here we go. All right, now look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's the bottom. Yeah, I think it's turning out really nice. Now, this is completely square right now. Next, I'll be coming... All right, this is where I stopped over here. And what I will be doing, see where I have all these markers? I'm going to start my down this row right here. And then it will go around and around and around counterclockwise. This is such a joy to work on. And I am loving every moment of it. It's hard to put it down when I start. Um, this one, I'm thinking... What's going to be for me, I might do it a little bit bigger for my niece for Christmas and give it to the little one and start us another one. Um, I'll make that decision when I get one or two more rounds on it. But yeah, I am really liking this. And as I said, I put the link down below for you guys. I know many of you have really liked this. And I would like you guys to let me know... How many of you do corner to corner on a regular basis? Um, I found a, another baby pattern. I think it's called Herringbone Corner to Corner. Um, I'll be showing you that in a video soon, hopefully. And um, I don't need to get another project started, really, but you know how it goes. <laughs> All right, and I got this. Okay, let's see. All right. My grandson really likes scars because he has bronchitis really bad. And in the wintertime, he has a really hard time with it. And he has asthma issues, too. Well, all right, this is a J-hook over here. All right, this is another J-hook. I like to use mostly J-hooks on my corner-to-corner. -corner. That's just me. But this is a scarf. For my grandson for Chris for Christmas or his birthday. His birthday's coming up November 2nd. And I'm thinking, hmm, I might just go ahead and make this for his um for his birthday this year. Because he really likes scarves. Because he can wrap it around his neck and up his face. Now this is Premier Yarn and it's called Oak Moss. They're everyday prints. This is the Oak Moss. And it's 15 across. And right now, I'm here. And I'm increasing on this side only. And then this other edge is just following straight up. So I'm only doing um, increases on this side. Once I get it long enough, that, I, that I, you know, halfway done, then I will start decreasing on both sides. And both of those edges will meet. This, again, it goes so quickly. I mean, I've done this maybe in two or three evenings. I mean, it really goes nice. And I made a, I made a hat. I might have made him a hat and scarf like this last year, but I didn't make it as wide, which I kind of think he's going to like the wider width. And that boy loses things. Oh, I probably have to, I should make him two or three. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been working on. Um, I'm loving it. I'm trying to keep busy with my crochet in between my chronic pain issues. This morning, I was a little scared. I woke up. I woke up and my left hip was killing me. I couldn't even move. It took me an hour. I mean, I finally managed to get out of bed with my husband's help. But it was like, okay, what's going on there? <laughs> But it's felt much better today, and we were able to go out for a walk. So I'm very thankful for that. So anyway, I think that's all I have, that little update for you. I am going to start some more um, dishcloths. Dana at Wanderlust Crochet, she did a dishcloth. Um, I think it's called the Lemon Peel Stitch, where you single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way across. She has a nice little video on, she shows how to do that, changing colors, and it's really cute. So I thought, oh yeah, I can make those in between. So yeah, well listen, 
I, I welcome all my subscribers. I hope some of you have stuck around that we're on the Harvest Moon giveaway deal. I would love to have you as a subscriber and um, we do a lot of fun things here. We have a lot of drawings. Um, we'll have to see what else we can come up with soon. And I do have one more thing. Let me grab it. Okay, I was going to hold off on this for a while and kind of surprise you. But I'm not sure that I can teach it. And I'll show you this here. Now this here is a pattern. Excuse me. Many years ago, like 25, maybe 30 years ago, I found this in a uh, Omni World magazine. I contacted the owner and she gave me complete rights to the pattern. She wrote me a letter. I got it on file. Very sweet lady. We talked for over an hour. That was about three, four months ago. And she gave me permission to teach this. And as my gift back to you guys, I'm not going to charge anything for it. You know, I have it. I have received so many free patterns from other YouTube creators. I thought, you know, it really wasn't my creation. So I don't feel right in charging for it. And this here, I want to see if anybody's interested in the pattern. I am going to try to do my first video where I can teach you how to do this. They're so cute. I know. Get down with it. What is it? <laughs> okay. You ready? Let me get it on my finger. I thought with the holidays coming up, maybe some of you that like horses. This is a crocheted horse's head. And it's very easy to do. And this one here I've had for a good 10 years or more. The eyes have stayed on. I use E6000 glue. You start with the nose here and you go around and then the, like all around here and then you do it flat and then you seam it along here but when you, you come back with the fringe here and you make the little ears and tie them on it's real simple to do. So if I can figure out how to stay in camera and pause. I see a lot of people pausing and then they start it back up again. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I know I could do it in, in several videos and clip them all together if I have to. But I'm going to work on that and see what I can come up with to teach it. Um, if not, I may have the um, pattern um, available for you. I could, um, I'll probably end up typing the directions in the description box below when I get ready to release this. So hopefully in the beginning of November maybe, I thought that would give plenty of time if they want to make it for gifts or to hang on the tree. And what you do with this is, you stick a candy cane up through here, and then it, it does its head down like that. And it's so cute, and you got the candy cane hanging down. And I did make another one. I haven't got the eyes on this guy, but this was a patriotic one. And, of course, again, you have the candy cane goes up the neck and cranks it down. Isn't that cute? So, yes, if there's any interest in this, please let me know. It would be my pleasure to release this pattern to you so that you can crochet your own. In fact, my mother-in-law... When I went down to visit her, she gave me a bunch of old crochet patterns. And I was looking through them, and she had this very pattern. And I said, well, I can't believe you got that pattern. You never made them, did you? And she said, no. I said, I made those. So I was real excited. So several older people, I would think, would have this one tucked away in their um, files. So yeah, let me know what you think on that, okay? Well, listen, I'm so thankful for my subscribers, my new subscribers. I love the comments that you left on the Harvest Moon giveaway. I read each and every one of them. It was awesome. And I want to thank you for participating in that. All right, everyone. It's time for me to go see my hubby, grab some popcorn, have a movie, and enjoy the rest of my evening. God bless. And I'll see you next time on God, Crochet, and Chatter.